This C-58 class setup is underrated in Black Ops Cold War. Yo guys, before we get into today's class setup, if you could hit that sub button if you're new, we are still close to 2,000 subscribers. And also hit that like button. Hitting the like button is the easiest way to support the channel, and it pushes the video out into the YouTube algorithm so other people can see it. So today we are going to be checking out a subscriber's C58 class setup. I will have a screenshot pulled up for you guys. But basically he wanted to go for like a longer range gun that you could just sit back with. On the optic, he uses the three times scope. You can use whatever you prefer, but today this is what we're gonna be using. Today we're gonna be going with the 18.5 inch task force barrel for the 8% added to the damage, 50% added to the effective damage range, and 50% to our bullet velocity. It brings our damage up to 39, effective damage range up to 45.72 meters, and bullet velocity up to 1,095 milliseconds. I was kind of confused whenever we looked at the underbarrel and there wasn't one, but then I skipped down to the magazine and I seen that the 60 round drum gives you 8% to the vertical recoil control and that is actually really good. But on the C58 you really don't need any recoil control, like it's really easy to control. And on the handle we're going to be using the airborne elastic wrap for the 30% added to aim down sight time, 90% to the flinch resistance, and to also aim while going prone. My only complaint with this class setup is that it doesn't have a muzzle and I do tell you about it in the video. But if you guys like this class setup and you give it a go, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Yo guys, before we get into the gameplay, if you could put down any of your favorite class setups, they can be bad attachments or they can be good. It all depends on you. I'm running out of ideas for some videos. So I need you guys to help me. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. All right, we're gonna be checking out a subscriber's C58 class setup. <clears throat> I don't really have much to say about this class setup. I probably will talk about it a little bit more in the intro. But the only th problem I have is there is no muzzle. Like I like staying off the mini map a lot with my class setups. Unless it's of course a, um, just one that you don't need it with. Like most of the time, I, I don't know for sure, but I think I don't run a suppressor on Nuketown. But I could be wrong. I shouldn't say all the time because I do run crew suppressors on Nuketown a lot. I don't even know what I'm saying to be honest, I'm just talking. I do like the, um, I think it's, uh, yeah, the Tiger Team Spotlight on this map especially. My teammates are not going for any flags. This could be a very bad thing. I might be dead here. Never mind. All right, team, we need to. Need to keep B as much as we can. I'm gonna wait till this dude pushes and then I'm gonna push this guy. Oh man, this map can go like either 
it'll go your way the entire time or it'll go your team's way the entire time. You just gotta hold B. My teammate is literally in my way right now. And we lost B. That was really, really risky. I thought there was two of them. <laughs> Teammates, what are we doing? We need to get a flag. I don't really want to help out too much right now because obviously I'm trying to get a gameplay. This class setup is not bad though. Just a couple of things I would change personally. Oh my god, that headshot multiplier. Alright, we're gonna sneak over here. What? I got killed in two bullets? All right, this might be a little bit harder on this map because my teammates don't want to push up. But we will make something happen. Of course that they... I think I'm gonna have to really stay on B here. He might be laying down up there. Oh, there he is. Yeah, come on. Uh, I mean, there's only so much you can do with a team like this. Game is basically well, halftime. Yeah. My team is not doing anything, and they're not really doing anything either. I just got unlucky. Dad on like what a twenty-six. Usually if I die like that, I kind of give up and I leave the game, but I'm going to try to see what happens. I'm about to get a harp, so that's good. I just need teammates to actually play objective. I think it might be time to get a new controller again. See, now what I'm gonna do, what are they doing? I think I heard one, no I didn't, okay. See, that's what we're gonna do. We're, we're just gonna sit right here. Oh, no. He's trying to stick me with a Simtex. I 
I have them all focused over here now. We're gonna sit right out right there. Kill him. Come on, y'all can't focus me now. Come on. Don't focus me. All right, teammates got some streaks now, so that's good. That'll hold B for us. Hopefully. Probably not, because this map is pretty bad with kill streaks. Yeah, we're going to back up a little bit. Because they're going to start rushing that left side. What are you doing? You sneaky. Kind of want to bait my teammate here. Hopefully nobody's lurking. Alright, so we know they're coming over here. Or at least trying to, unless teammate kills them. Are they going to start pushing this? See, I think that's why my subscriber uses the 3X, because you just want to sit back with this gun. Once I get this nuke, I will play objective a little bit more. They shot down my UAV. I'm just going to use teammate as a bait. Now they're not going to think... My teammate just died on B. I might back up. Almost died again off the nuke. All right, it's okay. We got some streaks. Gonna call in the heart. Pull out the war machine. Oh my god. Yeah, teabag me. Hold that nuke for me. See, they're all flanking now. But it's okay. Our nuke's gonna take care of them. <clears throat> oh my god, that lag was terrible. <clears throat> Just had to keep him off of B for a little bit. 92 kills. Ninety-two and six, GG's. Chokey.